Okay. So where were we? Um, I think I was explaining signs. Uh, I sort of just recorded a shit ton of audio and played the game without actually recording the game. So I just like wasted 10 minutes of everyone's time. So that's that's nice. Um, well, I guess I didn't waste your time, so that's you know the least I can do. Okay, so I want to explain this like a little bit quicker because if you don't get it, then uh, you don't actually know what this is, and the best way for you to know is to actually tell you, you know, because then you you know what it is and you can repeat it, and it's just in memory, and that's you know the best way that I I, I think that you're gonna be able to grasp this this RS Norlatch. So, um, I, th I believe last time I labeled each side. If I didn't label each side last time, then these are, these are the labels. Um, we said last time, um, that actually we don't want that to be the powered side, <laughs> the default side. Uh, okay. But last time we said that the powered side, which is, which we want to be this back side, and you can actually reset which side is powered and which side is unpowered by just... Uh, breaking. Make sure you do this though before you hook this up to any buttons or anything, you know. Um, so uh, yeah, the powered side is going to be our reset side for the purposes of this. And in general, it's this. This is technically just the A side, and this is technically just the B side. And this is you know A out, A in. This is B out, and this is B in. But right now we're just applying that concept to station building and for our purposes we're just labeling one side as reset which we choose to be the powered side the the default the the, the side that's powered from the get-go and we choose the unpowered side to be our um, our powered the the side that's going to be giving power and receiving power so um, when we build stations we actually uh, aren't going to use the reset out now we could use the reset out um, if if we need if, if somewhere in our station we need the condition to be when our our holding chamber is reset uh, and we need something to be different, which almost never happens because the cart's not outside of the holding chamber ever when the holding chamber is reset. Except, well, you know, yeah, you decide if you need that. But if if the holding chamber is reset, do we need something to be different? If so, we can use this reset out to to make that the case. But for this station, we don't actually need this, so I'm just going to break the sign. Um, okay, so power in. What power in is going to be is this is the line that's going to be taking power. If we need to power this RS Norlatch, this is the line that we're going to use. All right. If we need to, uh, if we need to send power out on the RS Norlatch, uh, which which is which means if we need to send power to our holding chamber for the purpose of this latch. Uh, if we need to send power to our holding chamber, we're going to use the power outline, which is right here. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this and I'm going to put it on the wall so that I can see it. All caps. Conventions are important. Okay. So this is the line we're going to use if we want to send power out. And if we want to reset our latch, this is the line we're going to use. So when we when we build our reset plate, we're going to actually use this line as our reset. And actually, I'm noticing our reset line is going to be right here, right? Because uh, the pressure plate is going to be around here somewhere. So actually, what we want to do is we want to reverse where these blocks are. And we want to put that there and that there. Um, same concept. Same same concept. We want uh we want this to be the powered side. We want this to be the unpowered side. And the only thing that's different is um, the orientation of our latch. So I know this is confusing and it's a little bit weird, but it's actually going to help us later on. It's a more logical orientation. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is my reset reset in what are we at? 5 minutes. That's good. And this is going to be our power in our power in 
Okay. And then this is our reset out here, but we're not using that, so we don't need to label it. Okay. So the last thing that I like to do with this RS Norlatch is I like to put some glass over it. Um, I don't like people messing with redstone down here. It it just it ruins everything when people fuck up with my redstone. And I just don't want to deal with that. So I like to put glass around it. Cool. And another stack. I have a stack and nine. I hope that's enough glass to get me through. If not, I can always go get more. Um, we're going to actually put the redstone to the sign so that I don't confuse anything later on. Okay, so that's this, this latch, all right? Now, I built the exact same thing on the other side. This is the exact same latch. There's a nothing different about this latch, um, except that its its power in is right here. Its reset out is there, but we're not using that again. Our, its reset in is right here, and its, uh, its power out is right here. And I built a little walkway so that I could get to the power out. Um, yeah. And then over here somewhere we're, whoa. Cool. Uh, over here somewhere we're going to build a pulse generator like I mentioned earlier. And, uh, I believe we have enough room to do that. If not, we can always build into this wall. And, uh, that's pretty much, those are pretty much the only redstone devices that we need. We don't even, like, really need any logic gates. Technically this is a logic gate, but, I mean, it's actually memory. It's not really a logic gate. So, we have it simple. Uh, what are we at? Seven minutes? Um, anything else that I want to go over? Uh, in case it's not blatantly obvious, this is going to be our power out. This, that block right there, and this block right here, and our power ins. Uh, oh, don't want to be here. Our power ends. Damn, there's a lot of wildlife. Uh, is going to be the pressure plate we put here, and the pressure plate we put here, and our um, power, our resets. Well, our resets are going to be a little bit weird. Okay, so the thing is, we only ever want our arrivals to come through one time. So its reset plate is going to be like right here somewhere. Uh, maybe maybe somewhere it's just somewhere where we have a booster or I mean we could even do it up there using that little curve method because we don't really even need a booster um, but yeah we're gonna put a reset plate somewhere along the line because we only ever want our um, our uh, our arrivals cart to ever come out once and this is why you don't let wildlife in your goddamn station uh, fix that okay and the reset for this this uh, this booster, like I mentioned earlier, is going to be down here somewhere. Okay, so that's about it for this episode. I hope it was educational. Um, by the way, uh, after I, I'm not really thinking about it right now, but later on, there's going to need to be a torch here, and that's going to be controlled by um, a reset plate that we're going to put over here, and it, it'll it'll be it'll be easy. I just need to think about it a little bit. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, good luck with your station building.